In this video on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I'm going to show you the best ways that you can level up your Pokemon fast to level 100 in the game. The first method is by defeating Chansey in battle. Chansey gives a lot of experience when you beat them in battle. Don't do auto battles though, you have to go engage them like this. Use a Pokemon that is most likely going to one-shot them. These ones in this area that I'm going to show you are level 55. They spawn here in huge amounts with and without encounter buffs. Though I am going to show you a sandwich recipe you can make to make it a whole lot easier so that there are a bunch of them, like how you see on my screen now, like every single time I leave one, I go run up to the next one and boom, I get a a new a new one defeated and I'm getting around 3,000 to 2,000 experience depending on the Pokemon's level itself. Obviously the higher the level the Pokemon the less experience it gets in battle. So a sandwich can help in terms of increasing your XP gain as well as your encounter rate. Right so what I did is I made this sandwich over here number 147. It has encounter power for normal Pokemon which is Chansey. Her type is normal or its type is normal. Level 2 which means Chansey is going to be boosted and then experience points power. Fighting level two. Now, the reason why I want that is because Hariyama or Iron Hands, actually, that I'm trying to level up, is a fighting type Pokemon. It has fighting as one of its typings, so it's going to gain extra experience from me making the sandwich. So if you did decide to make the sandwich, you have to do it outside in the real world, anywhere where you can make a picnic. But to go to where this Chansey spawn is here, we need to go to the Zero Gate, which is right over here by the Great Crater of Paldea. And then you're going to enter the actual gate itself over here. Once inside, you're going to go to the green thing, the teleport in the middle, and you're going to go to research station number three. As soon as you leave the research station number three, you can see here there is a giant cave. We're not going in the cave. We're going just left of the cave over here, and you'll see there's a giant tree in your distance. At that tree, we're going to take a left, and this is where Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant are also hidden away here. And basically in this cave is where you're going to find a lot of Chansies. And that is how you lead to this area here where the Chansies are all over the place and you can encounter one right off to the other. Just use Ether items to restore your PP on your abilities and just go ahead and one shot every single one you can for as long as you feel like. Now the only other method that is better than that is the Poke Portal method doing terror raid battles online or in your own world, but they have to be five star or six star or higher and you have to be winning those fights. So make sure you pick your battles wisely or you can try your luck with the random one. I find that I often get into one that's random and it usually is a five or a six star anyway. Now these can take between two to three minutes depending on like, you know, how quick your team is and how, you know, if you're able to defeat it and you will get experience candies large and extra large and in higher quantities depending on the, the level five star or six star. You can even do four stars if you want. I, I really recommend the higher ones better because those XP candies in large and extra large give a lot more experience. As you can see, one extra large candy gives 30,000 experience. Now we were getting around 3,000 with the lucky egg on Iron Hands over here. The lucky egg is an item that a Pokemon can hold to gain extra experience, but that's only through battles. This doesn't work with the experience candies. But one extra large candy is the same as defeating 10 Chansies if you, if you do like some quick basic, you know, rounded off math. I will personally say that all the Pokemon that I leveled up to 100, I've done about five of them now to 100. And throughout the game, even in early game, I used the Terra Raid battles online to gain these experience candies to level up my Pokemon because it is just the quickest and fastest way to also gain new Pokemon. And it's also a fun way rather than defeating Chansey like 400 times. I'd rather just go into battle there, one shot things. You also get other items that you can sell to get money or, you know, just regular items that you might need for other things like bottle caps that you get from these five and six star terror raids. So it really does come down to personal preference, which one you feel like doing. If you feel like you're losing terror raid battles too often, that it doesn't really grant you like, you know, XP candies often enough, then you might find yourself doing the Chansey method over and over, which will give you a steady gain of experience. However, at the later levels, it's quite hard to get experience because the higher the level the Pokemon, the less experience they get. So terror raid battles are actually the best. You just have to be successfully winning them every single time. So I hope this video helped to give you some information for leveling up your own Pokemon in your game as fast as possible and thank you so much for watching.